We're counting down to one of the biggest events in the history of modern India. In a matter of a few hours, the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO will attempt its biggest and most ambitious mission yet. They will try and land a rover on the far side of the moon. Only America, China and the USSR, the then USSR, now Russia, have accomplished something like this. But no one has attempted a mission on the south pole of the moon. So this is a first. The countdown began on the 22nd of July when Chandrayaan-2 launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. This was around two months ago. It's now time for the finale. Later tonight in the wee hours of September the 7th, ISRO will try to put Vikram, the lander, on the surface of the moon. And there are three modules of this Chandrayaan mission. The orbiter, the lander, that is Vikram, and a rover called Pragyan. Now this mission is very, very significant, not just for India, but the entire world. Today, scientists will know scientists do know little about the poles of the moon. Chandrayaan 2 could bring to light new information about the moon, its surface and the presence of water on it. Several scientists suspect that the moon's south pole has an abundance of water. If this is indeed true, then water on the moon can be used to support life, as well as rocket fuel. This could open new doors for space exploration. But beyond the prospects of exciting findings, this mission means a lot more for India. It is a major step for India's growing space program. Chandrayaan-2 will serve to be the foundation for Gaganyaan, and that's India's first manned mission to space. So what happens after the touchdown? Vikram, the lander, will deploy Pragyan, the rover. This is a small six-wheel rover that will travel on the surface of the moon. Now, this rover has cameras. It has instruments that can study the chemical composition of the moon's surface. Both Vikram and Pragyan have a life of two weeks. And this is mainly due to the fact that the instruments on them can only handle the low temperatures on the moon for 14 odd days. K. Sivan, the chairman of ISRO, has described the landing as, quote unquote, 15 minutes of terror. But India's space agency is prepared for this. ISRO ran several tests and simulations on the various, uh, the various systems of the Chandrayaan-2 before the launch. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be with the ISRO team in Bengaluru tonight. He'll watch the event as it happens. And more than 60 students will be with him. They're the winners of an online space quiz and they're special guests for this event.